Hello everyone and welcome to the Bola Bola Shorts take on the UEFA Champions League fantasy football game. For those who would like to join, please go to gaming.uefa.com and the links can be found in the description below. And for those who are not familiar with the rules of this competition, like how do you play, the point scoring and all those stuff, we will provide you the links in the description. At the same time guys, you know, uh, do check us out at our platform bolabola.my for the content of our shows, for our podcasts and all those other videos that we have. But for today, let's focus on the Champions League. And with the Champions League uh, beckoning right in front of us, you know, we're all excited with this season's offering and football is indeed back at, you know, in all those stadiums and their full houses and we as fans are fully pumped up for this and we are ready to go. So having said that, let's get on with our team reveal for match day one. Before that guys, please hit on that subscribe button and do also hit on that notification bell so you don't miss out on all our videos. And please do also give this video a thumbs up and share with as many friends as possible. With that said, thank you so much for your support and let's get on with our Champions League team. So our match day one squad, before we actually reveal the squad, I would like to go through first the bench just to let you guys know who we have on our bench and uh, the focus on the bench is basically not to spend too much money on those guys there but basically we have some value players there I would say people like the goalkeeper Martin Stecklenburg you know he is a starter for AX and with uh, Onana's current situation of suspension and probably even a possible move out of AX we can foresee that Stecklenburg will definitely be a starter moving forward as well and with his value it's a great buy there to actually just stack him on the bench he can provide some good value for us as well and of course there's another AX player that has been getting a lot of attention and in fact his ownership has been quite skyrocketing in this game above 40 over percent at this time of recording and uh, his name is Edson Alvarez as well basically he plays as a defensive midfielder in, in AX but you know in this Champions League game among I mean if you look at the other fantasy games you know points are given for are given for ball recoveries so definitely you know Alvarez do stand some chance for that and in fact uh, he has also scored a goal for AX in this season so far so definitely one to look out for well for Zenit you know we have a defender there Diego Santos and also Timo Bakayoko from AC Milan these guys uh, they would get some starting places into their team there wouldn't be any guarantees for that guys but basically you know it's a good stack in the bench and not spending too much money over there right so let's move on then to what formation we are going to be using so basically we decided to go with a 4-3-3 one may be asking us you know why did not we go for the 3-4-3 which is quite a popular formation as well but for us you know in the bola bola show after we evaluated the players and the options that they have we really thought that this 4-3-3 would be the way to go because of the focus on the flying wing backs and I'll come to that later, but before that, you know, we'll start off with the goalkeeper. So Yasin Bunu, the Moroccan goalkeeper for Seville, you know, has been playing very well this season. You know, has got some good fixtures ahead of him with Salzburg, Wolfsburg and Lille in his group. He's a good short stopper and at, for that value of 5 million, you know, we would not want to spend more than that if you ask me for a goalkeeper and Bunu. And we really predict that Seville will definitely get out of the group not to say comfortably but definitely with the short stopping ability as well you know there is definitely value there for Bruno right and we move into the defense and this is where we have our flying big our flying wing back approach I would say so guys you know whenever you play a fantasy football one of the tips that we got to look into is when setting up defense you know uh, always go for wing backs left backs right backs you know as long as they play on the wings because those guys they still get credited for points for clean sheets but unlike those center backs unless you have like really lock on scoring center backs from corners the wing backs are always a better option to go for and definitely in this case you know we have all got those real flying wing backs and i would say goal threat defenders over here because if you have a look at our team here you know we have got hakimi who is definitely one of the forefront of the PSG attack I would say the way he flies down the left and sorry the right the right side of the field so Hakimi is definitely a lock on on the right side there and together with him you know there's no mention no further mention for the two English 
right backs to play for their team uh, Trent Alexander Arnold and Reese James these two guys are definitely also oh, they pose a lot of attacking threat I would say Trent even takes takes free kicks and in fact if you've been watching Liverpool games recently he has also been drifting into the middle of the park so meaning to say they are scoring opportunities long range attempts Trent is definitely a must go it's not to say very cheap but definitely an investment here and 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 this was why the approach we took to go for four defenders because when we evaluated it and we thought uh, spending the money on a midfielder and to reduce the defender the midfield options for us personally we thought that we rather spend a bit more on this defense to get this attacking threat and in Champions League you do get quite a lot of clean sheets as well that's coming in for this team so for example Reese James and Trent we foresee that to happen and one of the superstars of defense in fact Oshua Kimmich need not say anything more even though he has got Barcelona as an away game but Barcelona situation now is it's a bit shaky you know and defense and Kimmich is definitely one guy from Bayern that you want to have in your team because of his goal scoring threat he's either drifting in into the middle of the field or he's definitely flying on the right hand side he poses assists he poses shots from outside the box he's definitely a, a go-to defender to get in this game and playing fantasy football for many years Kimmich is definitely a must have in your fantasy team so definitely this is one of the reasons why we have him in our defense so now then we move into the midfield and our midfield there okay if you look in the middle we have Mo Salah and when it comes to Mo Salah we need not say more you know basically it's a threat every time he plays penalties goals from outside the box Salah is Salah incoming cheap as well so you know you have to invest a bit on this to get get returns so because of going for the option of Salah that left us with quite a thin budget on the other two midfielders because we are also spending on the strikers which I'll get to that later so when we look back at the two midfield options that we had one of the two of the players that really came off with the two Argentinian players playing for Atletico is Angel Correa and he's definitely on from because for At Atletico he plays up front as well and he so far scored three goals this season and to actually get a midfielder who's playing up front and scoring goals is definitely a bonus and coming in at seven million I would say it is is not to say the cheapest midfielder out there but definitely if you look for goals per return ratio and looking at his current form now so far three goals so far this season is something to really look forward to indeed and then there's Eric Lamela, the other Argentinian now who's playing for Seville. He himself has also scored three goals this season for Seville, and he's definitely a bargain among the midfielders, I would say, at six million. Also scored three goals so far. So, you know, guys, this is definitely some someone to watch. But Lamela, the only thing is uh, he he may not start the game, but he's definitely been coming in and, and Seville have been putting him in with his goal scoring threat. So there is a risk to this but we are going in with Lamela because we really feel that his returns would really be beneficial for us and we go to the forwards and these are the three forwards when you look at them you may be looking at those two guys there Haaland and Ronaldo when you look at them it's always goals 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 I would say and looking at their fixtures Haaland in particular has got a 55% ownership in this game so far that is a very high ownership for a striker almost basically more than half of the people who are playing this Champions uh, this fantasy game are basically signing Haaland in cheap I would say Haaland in cheap but Haaland is definitely goals and let's look at his fixtures right he's got good fixtures because he's, he's basically got basic tasks sporting Lisbon and AX those aren't the great defenders around there and with Haaland being a real goal scoring threat definitely a no-brainer there then we have the return of the king i would say you know in manchester united cristiano ronaldo a fixture against young boys how mouth watering can that be but ronaldo has also been very consistent in this champions league fantasy so we decided to go for him there was really a big question whether we should go for messi or ronaldo you know messi and ronaldo have gone a long way back in this fantasy game for many many years but when we are looking back at this whole situation ronaldo was definitely the one we are going for because he just signed for man united he's really pumped up he's really pumped up really prove his point there and really when you look at him you look at him and there's still a lot of fuel left in his tank man the gas i mean he's still got a lot of gas in his tank and he is definitely going to be flying high there so Ronaldo and, and that's the reason we also selected him as the captain, our captain for match day one. And finally we come to the other striker, Joaquin Correa. 
Joaquin Correa also was the elder brother of Angel Correa. So we have the Correa brothers in our team. Not sure how many of them will have this combo here, but we really find them deadly here because Joaquin Correa was fantastic in his debut for Inter when he scored two goals. And look at his price at only 7 million for a striker of that quality. He's definitely going to be a big threat up front. So we decided to go with this formation here with these strikers and all that. So we hope that, you know, we do give you guys some sense of tips and inspiration for you to set up your team. You know, of course, guys, you know, feel free to go in and select whichever players that you feel comfortable with. But we, you know, we guys here at the Bola Bola Show really put in a lot of thought into this. And we hope that, you know, we can help you guys out there who need some tips as well. So there you have it, guys. It's basically a brief of our Bola Bola team for match day one. And we hope you guys can draw some strength and inspiration from this. And we, and we wish you guys good luck in participating in this tournament. Hope you enjoy our video guys. And with that said, let the fantasy begin.